Hello you guys, it's me TrainLover1974 and we are back with customs and reviews. We'll be doing two wooden railway customs this time instead of tank along. I noticed is that we're on where the layout is was supposed to be, but I will build that very minute. But these are two customs I wanted to show off. My wooden railway, Timothy and Jinty customs. As you all know, I've had these customs for a very long time, so technically they're not really new, unlike my tank along items I made. But I figured I might as well do this, considering they are customs, and this series is called Customs and Reviews. The first one we'll do is Timothy. Timothy was not really that hard to do. In fact, he was a bit hard. The one hard part I would say about Timothy was the lining. I did not like doing that. And you might say is like, but Timothy's not doesn't look like Thomas. That's not even an E2. Well, yes, I didn't use exactly a Thomas model for this, but I didn't really care considering Timothy's a prototype class for the E2s. So this meant he would look different from Thomas. So yeah, there's your explanation. My Timothy has larger tanks, but a much smaller coal bunker. That's why his pro that's why he was considered the prototype. Anyway. Anyway, when I did Timothy, this actually wasn't always Timothy. Of course it wasn't. It was that this was just an, like, imaginary and brand locomotive. But I thought, hey, why can't I turn this into Timothy? So I began work on him. What I did first, I painted the whole body white, except for the front here. Even the top of the cab I painted white. Then next, I then got struck. That's why I also painted these parts black again, like the top of the cab as well, including even adding window details on his cab. And then I started adding lining, which I tell you, I was like, I believe this was my first successful time lining with Wooden Railway, because usually I use consider myself never really good at lining. But I think I did amazing. I did along the tanks, tanks including all the way to back here. And also up to here. I also did his buffer beam as well. Like two black spots for his buffers. First, I wish I would have added a coupling. The face though, that's just some random face I decided to put on. But I will eventually get like a demon face look. And then for the other side, it was the same thing. For the zero, I didn't know it was originally yellow and I accidentally painted it red. So then I painted yellow over it. That's why it looks like there's like a little red ring in it. But, as you see, that's Timothy there. Including I painted his wheel rims black, but it's slowly starting to scrape away. But, it'll work out. He is really nice though. Now on to our next custom. Next custom is Jinty. Jinty turned out not to be really that too hard of an item, but still hard at the same time was that I was determined to make this a really good custom, and I believe I did. The first thing I did was, I have a whole bunch of Thomases laying around that I wasn't doing anything with. That's where I got the idea for Jinty. Because most people use Thomas when railway customs, when they make their Jinties, use a Thomas for their Jinty. Because, you know, they look identical to each other. Even though being from separate regions. Anyway, I painted the whole thing black. Well, I mean, I didn't really have to worry about this part, considering... It's already black, so I didn't really paint that. I painted the whole body black. I then started with adding deet. After that dried, I also painted the wheels. I also put names underneath them as well. Like how you'd see on wooden railways, I'm just describing their names. Like, here's my Henry. Like, you see Henry. The camera won't focus. See, Henry. Anyway, I did the same thing. I also did the same thing with Timothy as well. Let's bring him back real quick. I did the same thing with him. Alright, get out of here, Timothy. I then, next what I did was, I then started adding the details after the wheels and the paint dried. The first thing I did was at the front here, I added basically the, um, the... Uh, I forget what those were called. Handrails, yeah, handrails. Including whatever that yellow thing was on him. I have no idea what was that, but I do wanted to add that. 
I added the rim things on the side of the tanks, including the same thing on the other side. I also gave him his number. I actually looked up on the computer, my computer, and basically looked up about what he actually looks like, so this way then I can get references. After that, I then painted his number, 47406. I also even added a small, like, custom British Railways crest, because you know he wears that. I'm not too proud of it, but I did try my best on it. I also added window details as well, like adding multiple windows, windows including even a whistle. And on this one, I actually gave him buffer beams as well. Like, here's his buffer beam on the front, and there's his buffer beam on the back. I also added the black spots for the buffers, including, like, the small coupling. See? Right there. That was my custom of Jinty. Like, you notice that I got a bit of paint under on his chin a bit. I didn't mean to do that. I couldn't remove the face at the time. Anyway, that is all from me, Train Lover 1974 on customs and reviews. Thank you all for being here, and probably next time when I do one of these, it'll probably be about a review, maybe. It might be on Duck and Oliver, maybe. Just maybe. Alright, see you all next time. Bye-bye.